हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजे पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ डिस्प्ले बिजनेस रूल राइट दिस इज़ अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिजनेस रूल वेन एवर यू आर डीलिंग विथ अ सेनारियो ओवर देयर यू यू वांट सम वैल्यू विच इज़ प्रजेंट एट द डेटा और द सर्वर साइड बट यू वांट दैट वैल्यू टू बी प्रजेंट ऑन द फॉर्म लेबल on that case a uh, display business rule will help you to achieve such kind of scenario let's say uh, we want to check let's uh, i'm just talking about one scenario but before uh, going into details guys it's my humble request if you have not like and subscribe my channel please do so thank you in advance so uh, okay now coming back to uh, our original topic so let's say uh, we are in a situation over there we want to check on the form whether uh, the selected uh, caller is a vip user or not because if it is a vip user then what we want to do a uh, straight away i want to set a priority as a um, critical because if we, if vip means like a director level right if uh, company md has raised any incident then definitely we have to give the solution as soon as possible so let's say uh, right now we have uh, something like this okay but uh, runje patel is not a vip user so if someone if we have selected a vip user over here then we want to update uh, uh, this one priority edge uh, you want to set the uh, impact and uh, urgency as high but on the form level how you can say correct we don't have any information related to this uh, caller we will get only the uh, name and the um, sys id of the this caller we will get on uh, only logged in user or the name of this caller we, we can do a g underscore form dot get value then we will get this value but we will not get information about whether this caller is a vip user or not right so for that what we have to do uh, we have to write a hmm, display a business rule okay once we select the display business rule operation will be not selected because we are not going to perform any operation at the database level but what we are trying to do we are trying to get some value from database level and we will make it available for the form at the form level fine so when to run only display and uh, here in advanced section we are just checking so we have uh, one out of the box object or a variable i would say g underscore as scratch, as scratch pad you just remember this uh, keyword basically okay so if you are uh, writing any uh, if you are uh, not if you have not written any uh, correctly then it won't work basically so you have to make sure that means you are, have not done the uh, spelling mistake fine so uh, the syntax is very simple you have to write a g underscore a scratch pad dot is vip is your um, variable so uh, instead of is underscore vip you can write your own variable you got it so is vip here it is written is equal to false so by default we are setting the value in is vip is equal to false fine so here and now we are checking uh, current dot assign to is nil means current dot assign to is not nil because we have written a not over here if it is not nil then we are say, uh, saying okay g underscore scratch pad uh, dot is vip uh, and then we are checking a vip means current dot assign to dot vip so instead of checking this one caller we are checking assigned to based on the logic so let's say if we have selected uh this guy okay so in this case what it will happen it will not give a value right so g underscore a scratch but by default it is fall so whatever the value uh assigned to uh, based on this value let me open this record whether it is a vip user or not so 
सो वी आई पी वेर इट इज ओके ऑन द फॉर्म इट इज नॉट अवेलेबल सो वट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू गो इन द यूजर्स टेबल राइट यूजर्स एंड आई एल बी जस्ट लुकिंग फॉर दिस यूजर कैंसिल दिस वन एंड इन यूजर आई डी आई एल बी जस्ट सेलेक्टिंग दिस एंड हेयर वट आई विल डू आई विल एड अभी आई पी ओके एंड विल चेक वेदर इज द बी आई पी यूजर और नॉट सो बी आई पी इज फॉल्स सो दिस यूजर इज नॉट अ बी आई पी यूजर राइट सो हेयर लेट मी सेव दिस वन ओके now uh, this uh, um, user is not a vip user but what we are trying to do we are trying to get whether the user is vip user or not so only thing is that uh, assign to is not empty then we are just populating by default we are setting it false and assign to is not empty then we are just checking a vip user and we are setting it if it is a vip then it will give the false so what i'm going to do okay let me just do a duplicate over here i'm just going to write a just one on load client script on load client script uh, i'll be writing and i'll be saying checking check vip okay and this will go on on load and then uh, here um will be saying alert under the alert what i'll be saying um how you will get it uh, basically we have set it g underscore g underscore a scratch pad dot is vip let's say g underscore a scratch pad hope the spelling is correct right so if it is if you have doubt then what you can do just do it like this okay i'm just uh alerting it means it will give the alert whether the it is a vip user if it is a vip user then it will give a true else it will give a false i'm just saving this one we'll see whether the value is coming or not right because uh, this uh, is vip we are just making it available using this business rule correct so if i will uh, reload then uh, it will give me alert and by default it is giving a false why it is giving false because this user is not a vip user so let me make it vip user so now this user become a vip user correct so, so if i will refresh it again then this time it will give a which uh, value true or false true right see so it means our business rule is working we are setting we are just telling that okay just give me the assign to person whether the vip he is a vip user or not so let me change someone else okay so let me change to this person and i'll be just saving this record this time it will give a false because this user is not a vip user i hope you got it right the purpose of writing a uh, display business rule to if you want to make something available from server to client side then you have a option using a g underscore a scratch pad variable you can make it available right that's all uh, related to display business rule if you have not like and subscribe please do so it's my humble request and for all the documentation uh, visit my uh, blog site that uh, service now with runja.com over here and you will get all the documentation over here just type a business and then you will get all what type of business rule in details right thank you thanks for watching See you in the next video.